Hey guys, I'm back to show you how to make this awesome new bracelet called the Crystal Fishtail. It is about the size of a fishtail, and it looks like it has almost little crystals if you use clear bands for the interior bands. And if you want to give it a more technical, technical name, you could call this the three pin switch loop fishtail. Crystal fishtail sounds a lot cooler. But some of the things you can do with this are if you just use some random colors, this is how it looks. And then here are some jelly bands with clear on the inside. And you can use clear on the inside with rainbow, as I've done here. And also you could use white, and that looks pretty cool. And if you want, instead of using a different color for your inside inner switch looped bands, you can just use the same color and it creates a pattern kind of like this. So, this is a pretty simple bracelet. If you have not done the switch loop stitch before, don't worry. This is a really simple, easy way to learn how to do that. And then you can use that knowledge on other harder bracelets. So, let's get started. To make this bracelet, you're going to need two bar pins, two bases, and a C-clip, your hook, and some rubber bands. So, to set up your loom, First take your small base, and you're going to have the bar pins facing to the right, and you're going to put one on the end, and the other not quite aligned, so that the pins are in a zigzag pattern, and then you can secure the other end with this large base. And these are the three pins we're going to be using for our bracelet. So, to start out, take your first color and you're going to make a little X off of each peg, like so, so that you have a little triangle in the center. And now you're going to take your first band that will be on the inside and place it on these three pins just like normal. Now take your next color and place it across as normal, like so. So you're going to have three bands, make sure they're not tangled up or anything, and you're going to take your hook and we're going to bring up the band on the bottom of these three pegs just like normal and now this is where your um, pattern is going to be begin first you're going to take your center band whichever one's going to be on the inside and you're going to do a switch loop stitch on that band and then you're going to place another one of your colors and loop it up normally. So, first take your inside color, and if you haven't done the switch loop before, what you're going to do is place it on the bottom of all the pegs, like this, so that it's underneath them all. And I'm going to show you this carefully. It's kind of hard, but you'll get used to it after you do it a couple times. So first you're going to go in between the first two bands right there and then pull it out and turn your hook around and you're going to want to use your thumb and hold on to this middle band and pull this bottom band up and bring both of them over and then let go with your thumb and then place the band on the hook back on top. So essentially you have looped the center band and the band you just placed on the bottom has ended up on the top. So I'll show you that again with this peg. You're going to make sure that you have the bottom band on the bottom so you know which one it is. And you're going to put your hook in between the top two turn your hook around, grab that middle band with your thumb, 
get that bottom band, pull it up, and then let go with your thumb, and put the band that was on your hook back on the peg. You're going to do the same thing over here for this third peg. Make sure you know which band is on the bottom, and you're going to put your hook through these two bands, turn it around, grab this band, pull them both up, let it go, and pull it on a little bit, and that is your first layer. So next, you're going to take whichever color is next in your color scheme, and you're going to place it on top. And this time you're just going to bring up the band on the bottom as usual. You're not going to do the switch loop. So, n your next band is going to be your inside band. We're starting the pattern over at this point. And we're going to do another switch loop. So you're going to place your next band on the bottom. And we're going to do the switch loop here. So again, put your hook through the top two, turn your hook around, and grab that middle band with your thumb, pull them over, let go with your thumb, and place it back on the pin. Again, take your hook and do the switch loop. Always make sure you know which band is on the bottom so that you grab the right one. And now we're just going to place our next color and loop it up normally. So place that on. bring up the bottom band on all three pegs. I'll show you a few more times that um, pattern that we're going to do. First you're going to take your inner band and do the switch loop. I'm going to do it a little bit faster this time. If you need to, you can go back and watch how to do this switch loop slowly again, but you should get the hang of it. And once you've done that, your next band is just your color. going to loop that one up normally. I'll do this a few more times a little bit faster and then I'll skip ahead and show you how to complete the bracelet. Alright, my bracelet is long enough to go around my wrist now, <clears throat> and you can pull on it to straighten it out. And we are going to want our last band that we have done to be a switch looped band, whichever 
color is your inner color. So I've just placed a colored band, so I'm going to take another clear. And do the switch loop stitch on my three pegs. Now what we can do is take the color band on the bottom and bring it up normally without placing any more bands on top. And now we can bring the three bands onto one peg. So take those top two and move them down to here. Now you're going to grab your C-clip, or if you have an S-clip or something, that's good too. And you can pull on it a little bit to tighten them up. Just don't pull it off yet. Stick your hook in there. Grab all three of those ends. And then pull it off of the loom. So. That's your finished bracelet. You can come back to this end and y you can stick your hook just through those first bands that you placed and pull two of them up so you get a little loop like this and you can bring that other side around mm clip those ends with your hook with your clip actually and there you have it your finished bracelet I hope you like this bracelet remember to like this video comment down in the comment section and subscribe to epic bracelets for more original designs on the rainbow loom thanks for watching